chemical reactions is the most important type of question that appear on exams and also the most common problem when it comes to like making mistakes in chemical reactions so students sometimes can make mistakes in balancing which is not super common but the more common one is just students writing the wrong product so i'm going to review for you the very important chemical reactions for your gcc exam and i've summarized them in only four pages that's it four pages that has all the reactions in the syllabus that you have to know you must know before your exam so definitely go ahead and go to the description below this video and go find this pdf document print it have it next to your desk and review it very frequently try to review it every week uh, and if your exam is very approaching then definitely look at those four pages make sure you know all those reactions so i'm going to review those reactions in this video reaction number one photosynthesis very easy carbon dioxide plus water gives glucose plus oxygen remember to balance this equation you need three sixes you need the six for the carbon dioxide the six for the water and a six for the oxygen and this reaction requires sunlight and chlorophyll now another reaction is respiratory it's exactly the opposite in respiration you need oxygen plus glucose and it gives you carbon dioxide plus water all right so it, which happens in living cells all right so respiration happens in living cells photosynthesis happens in plants the next reaction are a list of five reversible reactions so these five re reversible reactions two of them are hydrated salts to anhydrous salts common question the two hydrated salts that you have to know is hydrated copper sulfate which is blue and when you heat it it gives you anhydrous copper sulfate which is white in color plus water the second one is hydrated cobalt chloride hydrated cobalt cobalt chloride is pink and when you heat it it gives you blue anhydrous cobalt chloride plus water so these are two reversible reactions pertaining to hydrated salt the next one is nitrogen hydrogen so this is haber process hydrogen and nitrogen gives you ammonia gas the next one is sulfur dioxide plus oxygen gives you sulfur trioxide make sure you balance it you need it two a two at the so2 and a two for the so3 and then the next one is calcium carbonate so calcium is kind of one of those reactive guys and it doesn't want to really give away everything it wants to hang on to everyone around it so the calcium carbonate uh, is very hesitant to breaking down but if you heat it it will break down and it's a reversible reaction it breaks down to calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide all right the next list of reactions are reactions of acids three reactions that are related to acids super 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 important guys please pay attention to this so the first one is acid plus metal and this gives you salt plus hydrogen and this reaction is only for metals above hydrogen the next one is acid plus base and this gives you salt plus water and there's no exception to this and it's called neutralization reaction and the third one is acid plus metal carbonate and this gives you salt water and carbon dioxide this is also neutralization reaction there's no exception to it so three important reactions now the next one is reaction of bases so there's one reaction that's pertaining to bases base plus ammonium salt gives you salt water Water plus ammonia and this reaction requires heat without heating it's gonna be super slow it's not gonna happen so you need heat for this reaction next is precipitation reaction anything that's soluble plus anything that's soluble and it gives you something that is insoluble okay so it could be salt plus salt and it could be salt plus acid and it could be salt plus base all right it doesn't matter what plus what but it needs to be two aqueous things giving you one insoluble thing the next set of reactions three reactions pertaining to group one metals number one metal plus water so group one as are like lithium sodium potassium rubidium so when these metals are added to water they react with water something really weird right if you have a metal and and you you put it in water it's not going to react right the metals you have at home like iron gold silver they do not react with water but metals of group one do react with water producing metal hydroxide plus hydrogen this is the first reaction second reaction they react with oxygen producing metal oxide third one they react with chlorines or bromines halogens to produce the metal halide metal chloride metal bromide and so on all right the next reaction is single displacement reaction of halogens so the more reactive halogen will displace the less reactive halogen from its compound that's reactions pertaining to group seven this also happens with metals metals also 
undergo displacement reaction. Now, the next set of five reactions are related to metals. The first one is metal plus acid, which we already studied in acid reactions. Acid plus metal gives salt and hydrogen. The second one is metal plus water gives metal hydroxide plus hydrogen only for the very reactive metals. And then the third one is metal plus steam. This is for the less reactive metals, relatively less reactive metals, but not super unreactive. And this gives you metal oxide plus hydrogen hydrogen. Number four, metal oxide plus carbon gives you metal plus carbon dioxide. This only happens for metals that are below carbon in the reactivity series. And then reaction number five is displacement reaction. Any metal that is more reactive will displace the less reactive metal from its compound. All right, these were just two pages. The next page, which is the page number three, are a set of reactions, four reactions related to thermal decomposition. So reaction number one, metal carbonates. If you heat them, they break down to metal oxide plus carbon dioxide. Exception, group one. Group one does not want to break down. It's super powerful, super big, like the high big guys, they do not want to break down. So that's number one. Number two, metal hydroxide, they break down to metal metal oxide plus water. Reaction number three, metal nitrate decomposes to metal oxide, nitrogen dioxide, and oxygen also except group one nitrates. Group one nitrates undergo reaction number four. So reaction number four is group one metal nitrates decompose to metal nitrite plus oxygen. So those are four important thermal decomposition reactions. Next one is the reaction in the catalytic converter. And uh, this is basically a reaction that happens inside your car. Okay, so go tell your parent, hey, there's a chemical reaction happening. Of course, there's a lot of chemical reactions happening inside your car. But one of them is really, really important because it gets rid of bad gases, very harmful gases. Like what? Nitrogen monoxide, carbon monoxide. So what happens in a catalytic converter is that the nitrogen monoxide and the carbon monoxide react together to give nitrogen and carbon dioxide safer very safe gases all right they, they don't kill people basically so this reaction requires a catalyst very important it's platinum next reaction lime water reacting with carbon dioxide and it turns milky this is a neutralization reaction lime water is calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide gives you calcium carbonate which is white precipitate that's what gives the milky appearance plus water uh, next reaction. Now, guys, remember catalytic conversion reaction needs a uh, balancing. It needs twos everywhere except nitrogen. Lime water turning milky does not require balance. It's already balanced. Next reaction or set of reactions is combustion reaction. Combustion meaning burning in oxygen. So if you have a hydrocarbon on a, or an alcohol, they burn in oxygen, produces carbon dioxide plus water. If you have carbon, it reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide. If you have hydrogen, it also undergoes combustion, reacts with oxygen or burns with oxygen to produce water. Now, this is complete combustion. If it's incomplete combustion, meaning you don't have enough oxygen, that's when you get carbon monoxide instead of carbon dioxide. Now, note that hydrogen does not produce carbon dioxide, which is a really, really, really cool thing because it does not produce any pollutants. It never produces carbon monoxide if it's if there's insufficient oxygen it never produces carbon dioxide which i mean it's not a, a bad thing carbon dioxide is safe but it causes global warming so hydrogen is cool all right the next thing is cracking cracking of alkanes will either produce alkene plus alkane or will produce alkene plus hydrogen this requires a temperature of 600 and it requires a catalyst of aluminium oxide all right the last two reactions addition of alkenes so if you have an alkene the double bond breaks two things are added on each carbon and it produces a saturated compound and then the last reaction is addition polymerization is when you have an alkene that has a c double bond c and it polymerizes it joins all of them they join together 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 to produce again a saturated polymer all right that was it guys it's only four pages please print them please review them every day or every week depending on how much time you have for the exam and best wishes for your exam all right go down to the description find the pdf document and print it out and review it all right guys bye see you in the next video